What's up, bitches? Yes. Happy How Friday. Doing? Happy Friday. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Are we are we ready? I love it. It smells like booze and fried food. <laughs> Bitch, I'm ready. Sickening. I live. All right, well, let's get this shindig started. Nice We're going to bring these two entertainers out. We're super, super, super excited to have them. Please welcome Miss Violet Chkachki and Gottmik! Hi, Gottmik! Hi. <laughs> Hi. I love. I, right. I love. I can look at myself. Ladies, have a seat. Oh, on the side. Okay. This is my good side. I know. I love you, I love you too, little cowboy diva. <laughs> well, hello, divas. Welcome to Chicago. Well done. We wish the weather was better, but that's just Chicago for you. I love it here. Yeah. Do you love it? Do you? My family's from here. Yeah, I love it. Yes. That. Oh, okay. That's sickening. I didn't know that. God, we, we don't do talk anymore, so. <laughs> 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 womp, womp, womp. I need like a booster seat. Look at me next to you. <laughs> God, maybe we get a booster <laughs> seat, please. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Is this your first time in Chicago, Gottmik? Um, no, I did one little quickie stop here uh -huh. for like one day, but this okay. is my first two-day experience. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm here a little well, longer. Well, welcome, welcome. We are so to happy to have you both. We're super excited uh, to get uh, critiques about the show. And not all the dirt. <laughs> We're actually not going to talk about the show at all. Yeah, We're just going to yeah, talk no. about ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually here to critique Mick's look. Please, please. I'm not into no, it. Me no, me either. I don't no. like it. Okay. Well, before we do that, we want to get into uh, just a couple reminders. Don't forget that we do have food and cocktails and servers and all that good stuff. So feel free to wave them down. They'll get you cocktails, get you some food. I see some of you bitches already started. I lit. But you're almost done. That's the sickening part. I Okay. Live. She's been here um, since six, girl. She Waiting. has. Just cocktailing and fried food. I love it. All right. Um, and remind you guys that today at 10.30 p.m., we will all be performing. So stick around for that. It's going to be a great show. Any other reminders? Yeah, I just want to tell you guys, um, also don't forget to get your House of Love cocktails tonight. And, um, and it's it's we forgot to say hello to YouTube. Hello, oh, yeah. YouTube. I was Hi, so YouTube. excited to have them. Yes. Hi, y'all. And uh, make sure if you haven't pushed that subscribe button, you go ahead and do so now. And with that said, let's get this started. DJ let's Mikey. Do it. Okay. All right. I love all you bitches in the audience desperately trying to figure out who that guest judge is. <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe's could be the shadiest crowd in the audience because I mean in, in the world because we'll have a runway and you'll hear crickets. You'll see it tonight. No one will make noise, <laughs> or they don't recognize somebody, and they don't do that courteous clap. They're like, we don't know who that is. Um, so, yeah, they could be a little shady. That's just why I, I love them so much. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let, let's get into this really quick. Um, we have this winner's season, and you have one of my favorite winners of all time, Violet Chachki. She wow. has... Oh, you're talking about me. Listen, she... The most... Iconic runway ever is your step down runway. When you stepped down and you had that crown growing out of your head. Now that was your last look. That means that if you were on this, I would assume every runway would be impeccable. So That's let's she can't go back. Let, let's let's we'll never know. <laughs> let's just get it out of the way. If they were to ask you to be on this gig, would you be on it? After the last week I've had, absolutely not. <laughs> I think I would like to distance myself from this franchise as much as possible. No. No! Right. Okay. I've done it. I'm getting old. I'm almost 30. This is not... Mind you, everybody else on this stage is older than she is. Very much so. <laughs> so would you go back? Would I go back? It, it's all about timing is what I think. That's and what if, I just said. And it's if, not the right time so, for me. No, no. So it, okay, so you're saying like the timing is just not right right now, but in the future, mm -hmm. if... 
you're just chilling and you're like, bitch, I'm kind of bored. Maybe I'll do this gig. I, I don't think so. I said okay. I would go back for this one previously. I mean, I change my mind all the time, right? But it's like I have anxiety just watching it. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. I remember like it was the hardest thing I've ever done is that show and like the anxiety I had around the whole thing and then the backlash, the criticisms, the fans, the passion, the like trying to prove yourself, like trying to be, like just like fuck it, I don't need that right now anymore, I've already done that. Um, and I commend all these girls for doing it, it's not easy. As you know, it's not easy and it's not necessarily fun either sometimes. And uh, I've already done it and I won, so why would I go back? <laughs> Totally. And you, you owe no one anything but me as a fan. I want you to know, aside from the bullshit, there's a lot of love for you. And I know there's a lot of people Absolutely. that would love to see you do it because it's something I would love for you to do. Absolutely. But that's just me being fangirl and just being that way. So, like oh. You. oh, yes. We love Thank you. Bleeding hearts of the world <laughs> unite. <laughs> You guys, Thank I do not you. know how to Thank sit so much. on patio furniture indoors. I cannot figure it out. <laughs> There's one. If you're I'm watching, like... take a drink. <laughs> All got, right. Got Mick. Now, how about you? If they were to offer you an All-Stars gig, is that something that you would do? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. You um, would do it in a heartbeat. I actually love being on Drag you Race. Love it. I literally was having a great time every second of it. But I don't think it's the right time for me either right now. I, I really want to like push some of my own art out there in the world first, because I right as I got off the season, it was the pandemic, so I haven't like gotten to do like the music videos, the looks I need, like all that like right. self shit first. But then I'll go back. It's fun. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're talking about PTSD over here, and this bitch is like, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I <laughs> love you. Guys. Had a great, <laughs> you had the best run on the show. I mean, you were yeah, literally so good bad. at everything, and everyone was like, "We love you." Yeah, absolutely. It was per you, I mean, why would you go back and ruin that? Yeah, you didn't see my disco <laughs> challenge. Yeah, <laughs> she had an amazing run. Thank you so much. They might see the real you if you go. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> True. I love that. All right. Well, we, we, we got that out of the way. So let's go right back into this season, and then we'll have some more questions for you guys. All right. So, oh, before we uh, get into uh, what we just saw, I want to remind you guys that we do have a merch table today Ooh. over in the back. Ah. Oh, my God. Yes. And I've heard it's quite gorgeous. Merch. I know. I heard I it's think... images of us. <laughs> I know. Pretty oh. good. And we have, who do we have back there? His name is? Mark. Mark. Give it up for there. Mark and Jordan, everybody. Yes. yes. And uh, they're pretty cute, and they're looking. And a little bit loose. And desperate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no better place to meet a piece of trade than at a merch table. That's Just all I'm saying. Out there. So, yes, go visit the merch table. Get hooked up, buy merch, do all of it. Okay. They're like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so this design challenge. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love Jinx. Oh, my uh. God, it's so funny. <laughs> Do you think she just sat at the one machine that didn't work? Because, you know, Girl, there's always a machine that doesn't work. Those machines are fucking rigged. <laughs> I think they use the same it's the same one from every season. So, bitch, that sewing machine has been through... 15 girls who don't know how to sew. So they fucked these <laughs> machines up. These machines are like, please... No more seasons. Please don't. You don't know how to thread a bobbin. No. These machines are, they're done. Yeah, no, they are. They're the original, for sure. They're the, oh, that's the exact machine I was using yeah. 10 years ago. No, they're not like servicing the sewing machines between seasons, though these machines are fucked. But you know, it's, it's good to see the way the energy is different because there's, uh, a star at stake opposed to you going home, right? Do you yeah. guys notice that energy? Yeah, like shift? Jinx is like, she just said, as long as I make a dress, I'm good. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. What do you... I did notice that. Besides... <laughs> besides Jinx, who do we think <laughs> is kind of uh, not well with the sewing... Oh, Sponges. oh, Miss Sponge Dress. <laughs> oh, we didn't. Monet see is a lot of things. A sewer, 
Not she's one. She's also a good salesperson because she's capitalized on that sponge dress, my love. Oh. Oh, soak what up? Yeah. That's like my favorite line that's ever come out of Gia Gunn's mouth. Well, there's so many good Gia Gunn quotes, but the, one of them is, soak what up? <laughs> Um, and Monet has just given us so many amazing moments. I wouldn't say um, a dress that she's made is one of them. <laughs> but so many amazing moments. So many. And then, of course, we have Jinx, who's just excited to just make something. She's happy to be there. I think the, the value in Jinx make, making an outfit is her trying to make an outfit. Like A hundred percent. We love her for not the outfit, but... The journey that the journey. <laughs> the jur- like it's amazing. She, I could watch her do literally anything. Literally, Jinx anything. out of drag is the best thing I've ever seen no, in my it's... life. Like, I need a Jinx out of drag show. Have you seen the video on Jinx's like YouTube or Facebook or something where she's interviewing herself? Yeah. Oh my god, it is brilliant. I could watch it all day long. She's like out of drag on one side of the table, then in drag on the other, and she's like so. Your mom left you. <laughs> you want to talk about that? And then in drag, she's like, I don't think we're here to talk, but it's like her. Interview- <laughs> it's, a, it's her interviewing herself. It's incredible. Um, I could watch her literally do make cookies and it'd be hilarious. Yes. But uh, yeah, the dress is the dress. Yeah. No, the way her mind works is, is great. It's, it's yeah. wired differently and so amazing um mm-hmm. so let me ask you this i these are the, who i think to look out i think i think shay will probably do really well jada so. stole's really well oh yeah yeah who, who else are you? raja raja yes uh, raja. Yeah. I, don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know no the thing is that me and mick have been doing um i don't know if you heard but, uh, yeah, please do tell. Me and do Nick tell. have been doing... I have not heard. What happened? We have, you know, we've been doing a fashion photo review. It's this web show. Yeah. So we've actually already filmed... There's 12 episodes. Spoiler alert. So it's finished, and, so uh, stop trying to replace us. Oh. We've already filmed all the episodes. <laughs> so we've already actually seen these, these uh, outfits. But we'll act shocked, I swear. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what mood I was in that day. Probably a bad one. But uh, I'm in Duh. a good mood tonight, so uh, we will see. We, we've <laughs> yeah. already seen these outfits. Yeah, so please put the video of her reaction from this next to the fashion photo. Look, I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini, so... Which sometime. face are we going to get season? tonight? You don't and know. Any other Geminis in the audience? Yes. Psychopaths, all of you. Hide we, your husbands. We are not psychopaths. We're... Just Gemini's. I literally <laughs> have to deal with this bitch every day. Y'all are psychopaths. Wait, look, wait, hold on. You guys are quickly, ha- you have quickly become this little iconic duo, which I absolutely love. How did this even come about? Like, we're, how did, were you on tour Nick? together? Yeah, you too. Oh, she's obsessed with me. Oh, that's <laughs> what it is. Ew, sicko. <laughs> this iconic duo could end at the Roscoe stage if he wants. <laughs> Um, I actually, we met at a random club that she was late to, and I was on time, so shocker there, tables have turned since, and I started doing her makeup, and uh, loosely doing her makeup. I was forced to have a makeup artist on set one day, (laughs) and uh, by the photographer, shout out to you, Vidget, if you're watching, love you. And um, you did my makeup, and we kikied, and uh, here we are. Here we are. Yeah, I know. So cute. No, that's great. I love to see it. And you guys got to tour together, yes? Because you did work have the world to. together. Yeah, we have. Yeah. It's, a, it's a burden, baby, with this one. Let me tell you. No, we love it. We, I, I actually haven't had like a really good friend in drag since before Drag Race. I was on cast. I had like a drag family and, and everything. And then when you're on Drag Race, it's like solo. You're all alone. So it's actually nice to have someone that I can run around with and kiki with. Yes, it's, it's been amazing. I mean, I just started doing drag at this level and this just, much. Like, just started, like I mean, tonight. Y- yeah, right now. <laughs> right now is my first time. But yeah, this year, and I've gotten blessed with like the most insane, um, hardworking diva of life that's going to tell me how it is at all times, like whether I like it or not. And so it's been... An amazing growing experience, to say the least. <laughs> so what you're saying is I'm a fucking bitch. Was yes. that Nomi, Nomi Campbell coach? She's like, you can call me a bitch, maybe a bitch, but I'm a hardworking bitch. 
I'm a hard working bitch. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Cheers. Well, we love seeing you. We wait, can't wait to see more and more and more go, of you. Um, yeah. What's up? I want to know what your sign is. What is your sign? I'm a Leo. Oh, me too. Wow. Oh. oh my God, we're Leos. We are. And you're a fucking Gemini. And I'm a Gemini. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We're divided. Oh. So but open. apparently, Leos and Geminis are supposed to be compatible. I'm yes. the sex. Yes. 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 We are. We're. <laughs> and I'd like yes. to take this opportunity it's to just, announce. It's taking some yes. time for us. But it has to- not. You fucking liar. <laughs> Enough about us. Let's get back to the show. Get back to the show. <laughs> so are you guys dating or? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Are you guys? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So let me ask you, ladies. A lot, of, a, a lot of contestants are always terrified of the sewing challenges, right? Yes. What was the challenges for you on your season that you were like, Ugh, I'm so not looking forward to when they throw this at me? Literally all of them except for the sewing challenge. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, anything with personality, I couldn't, I was not into. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. And for you? Okay, well, actually, when I went in, it was a very different story than when I was actually there. I went in, and I was like, I cannot do Snatch Game, I cannot do anything funny. And then I got there, and I was like, so I really can't dance. <laughs> and so that's where I faltered a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else talk. I'm done. <laughs> Jesus. So all per- you, you were feeling all personality, and now you're like, okay, the physical stuff is like, I can't really do. Yeah, I mean, I just like, when I got there, I was so serious, and I was like, I have to say the right thing and be this trans representation, and I have to be like this perfect little thing. And then the second I was like, you know what? Fuck this. That is not working. I just started having fun and being me and realizing that this is fucking TV and not like the end of the world. I I just, everything started clicking, got funnier, realized that's fun to be funny, and it just all clicked, so thank God. I also think for my season, there was a lot of group challenges. Does not work well with uh, others. I think I've learned that I like to do things my way, and um, it's, it's definitely, drag is not a group sport for me. Like I never was well with like group sports. More of like a track runner, like tennis player. I think so. working solo, all the challenges that I won, I, I worked solo. And um, yeah, I don't think of drag as like a group activity. <laughs> and, and I think that that's what they try to do too, because we don't really do drag in a group. You know what I mean? It's no. like, let's throw all these like A-type personalities together and see them kind of duke it out, I yes. feel like is what they do. Yeah. When you've got someone like Max, God bless her heart. Oh no! But it's like I'm, I'm like, oh, let's be raunchy. It's like no. I'm like, okay, <laughs> we'll do your idea, I guess. Oh. I know. So sad. So much trauma. Ten years. Warning: Violet does not work well with others. Hello. So many group challenges, though. You know. Yeah, that's a lot. Did not expect that. But it was. It made good TV, though. It was really good to watch. Mm. Um, but, I mean, you see those that kind of... What do you call it when they kind of uh, leave the ones behind? I don't know. I can't think of the word. Yeah, uh, the, the dead analogy. weight? The, no. Did she say... Losers? <laughs> no. I, did, I totally didn't want to see that it go like home. that. I totally didn't want to see it like that. Oh. All right. So, um, okay. So, what, uh, what, what were you looking forward to doing? Where you like, um, oh, I can't wait till I get that sewing challenge. Is that what you were really looking forward yeah. to? Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, when I had my ball challenge, it was towards the end of my season, and I remember just feeling happy <laughs> for once, <laughs> like excited. And, and it's sort of like what Jinx was saying. Everyone's laughing, having a good time. And I think um, when that happens and you're also working, it just is great. If you can work <laughs> and be happy and have a good time, like what more could you possibly want? Yeah, no, I think same. I was obsessed. I knew I could sew. I really wanted to do a ball challenge. And I also really wanted to do a makeup, makeover challenge because I'm pretty good at the, in the makeup department, I would say so myself. And, but it, we were in the middle of COVID, so I couldn't do that on someone. Aww. Well, I guess I did it on Candy, but like, no. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted something funner. <laughs> That was good though. Didn't you guys switch? I feel yeah. like you were dressed as her. Yeah, yeah, bitch. She threw me on fucking RuPaul's Drag Race National TV in an Ardell lash. <laughs> I will never forgive her for that. That is. Candy does wear small lashes. Yes. 
It straight out the package. I think it was the one they provided in the hallway. Do you know Ardell messaged yeah. me? <laughs> the hallway. Yeah, in the, the hallway, hallway, hallway outside of the workroom. She was like, this will work for Mick. And I'm like, okay, dysphoria, come through. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> come through. Yes. Self-quote. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, let's see who actually does really well and who does poorly on this. Uh, I cannot uh, wait. I really want to see. Let's go back to I'm it. at the edge of my patio furniture. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We got lots to talk about. Yeah, we so do. So much to talk about. Yes, we do. That was a great ball, yeah? Yes. So let me let me just be clear because I, I wasn't – they only made one outfit and they brought two. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. Got it. That's and then it the before-after thing was like – before, like a new and old, or like, is that kind of like whatever like fits together? Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, 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 okay. Like I a was... play on words. I okay, guess. got it. Are right? you familiar with Wheel of Fortune, girl? No, bitch. You didn't have it in your household like Jada. <laughs> <laughs> that Fucking Jada. Me. She so gave me. She said so the first, That's the first woman. white woman so in her house. That That's funny because Lisa that Renna was so the first funny. white woman in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. That was so good. Okay, but I don't want to miss anyone because everyone was so good. So let's just go through the list really quick. Uh, Jada, um, she's at the top of the list just because. And I, think, and I think she's the top one in this. Yeah. I thought she was great in all three looks. What do you guys think? I'm trying to remember all three looks. The bags, the all black. My question is, with the Vanna White looks, like, did Vanna White wear these dresses? Like, is there, like, a Like, they should put the photo next to it, no? Like, I'm confused. Like, are these dresses I don't they're wearing so. inspired by a dress Vanna White wore, or they're just gowns? I think they're just gowns. Like, they're serving, like, Vanna realness. Well, Raja was like, this is an, an ex exact Right. Look. I guess yeah. I'm confused Ooh. about what makes the gowns Vanna White gowns. Specifically, because that was the challenge, no? Yeah. yeah. Is that confusing anyone else? Just me? I just, like, sometimes they had the 80s hair and the 90s hair, which I think was like, oh, Vanna White hair. But then some of the girls just were wearing gowns. So I'm like, well, the category is Vanna White realness or whatever, so... Did she but, wear a gown like that? Sometimes? But Vanna White is iconic, and she's been around for so many years. She has so yeah. many looks. So, so then they so should it be was just putting a dress the picture challenge. of the. I think it was just I, a dress. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I yeah. assume those were inspired by specific looks, but they didn't show the specific inspiration from yeah. Vanna White. Right. I wish they would have showed the Seems picture. Seems like a production issue, not us. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I I will say though, I think the most cohesive one was going to be Raja because she chose like an era. She did the eighties. With the '80s gown, so you're like, okay, that was that was Vanna '80s. Down. You know what I mean? Right. So it was a little bit more identifiable. Well, think, yeah, because that's where we know Vanna White from, right? Yeah. Right. Late '80s, early '90s, yeah. glamour, doing this. Totally. So I guess if you're in the gown with '90s hair and you're doing this, yeah. then you're giving Vanna White realness. <laughs> Simple. So pretty much, yeah. yeah. So I I loved Jada. Did you guys love her? Yeah. The looks? red was fierce. All I those loved everyone's on looks. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's really great. I'm really happy for everyone involved. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone is that. amazing. It sucks that you guys have to say that. Oh, no, no we don't have to. They really. do not have to. Oh, I, I know. I know. I know. They do not. Listen, this is, first of all, anyone that's getting butt hurt about criticism, this is what we do, boo. Yeah. And, it's, uh, and listen, I, if I'm not mistaken, the other day I took like a poll, so to speak, and I said, do y'all like Kumbaya or you like a little drama? And y'all bitches love the, the drama. drama. So don't you dare start coming for anybody when they do what they are told to do. <laughs> don't fucking try it. With that said, yes. let's, let's talk review. about <laughs> Jinx Monsoon, Jinx Monsoon. Do we like the looks of Jinx? Love. <laughs> See, Incredible. She looks great. Her, her, her <laughs> every single, I can't remember all three of them, but I just, they're incredible. I know how about the great, one she, yeah. How about the one that she had to make? Were we proud incredible. of what she came up with? <laughs> no, Honestly, let's talk about, let's no. talk about Trinity helping her. Uh, yeah. Also incredible. <laughs> that was incredible. That was a good moment, oh and God. that was good and incredible. Okay, look. And I <laughs> think it was really incredible. I also love Raja. Really good. Just for the record. <laughs> Everything was really good. Everything looked nice. Braided. 
I like. <laughs> no, no, no. For I, real. I like, I like braids. Listen, hold no, on. For since real. We, since we know, we'll come back to this. We, since we know where this conversation yeah, is going, going, which is that everyone is incredible. Everyone is um, incredible. Well, let me ask you guys who about you this. didn't like. What about the alliances? Do we think that's a smart thing to do? Stupid. Or would you? Stupid. There Hate it. It's Finally, so some bad. honesty. Just kidding. <laughs> that's also no, incredible. When you're. <laughs> Every, no, no, no. I like the alliances. I'd like to buy an alliance. I like alliances, too. I can't. No one's putting it on. No producers are helping them do that. That's yeah. real. That's also incredible. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, no, for real, though, I learned in my time there that the second you, like, pay one... You're there for a short amount of time. The second you worry about what any other bitch is doing, that's when you falter, bitch. You have to focus on yourself, your artistry. You're there for a reason. And the second you worry about some other bitch, it's game over. I don't care if it seems positive in the time. It's like you're there for your art and to tell your story. So do the damn thing. Don't fucking worry about what Monet is doing in the corner. <laughs> like, you know, so weird. So not a fan. Incredible. Cut to me on All Stars like, hey, bitch, want to form an alliance? Very that. <laughs> very that. I will double click and save this file tonight. Yeah, no. It's we very, will play yeah. it. We'll play it. Do you think it was smart of Shay to be like, um, not so much. Yeah, Like, Shay, I see what's going on here. Yes. She knows the game, girl. She can do it all on her own. She, yes. doesn't, need, she doesn't need that. It so, seems to be that Monet feels she <laughs> needs to have someone. So does it look like Monet? Oh wow! Oh, now Did you guys hear away. that? Wow. Did you guys hear that? Uh oh! Oh yeah! Oh. Monet, Monet and Trinity were trying Did to you twin hear up the that? team. Cue to YouTube. Yo, bitch! I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, so what you're bitch. saying is Shea Coulee is not incredible? No, that's what I said. Excuse you. So you hate Shea Coulee. Nobody said that. What you will wow. not do. This is Shea Coulee's hometown. Wow. I heard. Wow. I know. Wow. wow. Oh, my God. Quick, somebody throw a bottle. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> what? I said what I said. <laughs> and I said Shay is so sickening she doesn't need nobody up under her ass. To, on the coattails. To, no, uh-uh. She's sickening, okay? Monet she's is incredible. The one over here she's incredible. Trying to be. That's what I said. She's incredible. Violet. We also love Raja again. <laughs> messy. This is getting messy. I cannot. Wild. I They're wild. I not. Yeah. Okay, no. let, let's, let's go back to the show and see if we get all kinds yeah. of incredible <laughs> critiques. I can't wait. I love it already. Yeah. Incredible. Well, we congratulations to Jada. Yes. Yes, yes mama. She Amazing. did that. Yeah, she Do really we did. agree with our top two? Oh, no. No. You, I heard no. It should have been Violet Roger. agrees. <laughs> okay, the, the, you agree, you said? Violet always agrees. <laughs> yeah, it, the, personally, the, for me, personally, for me, I think it was between Shay and Raja. They were my favorites. Okay. The, I, think, I think the Olivia Newton John Waters was too simple. Yes. I honestly think I it think was that's where the mark was I think it was way too simple. Yeah. True. I, I didn't even see the mustache. Yeah. Like, did you, no. you couldn't even see no. it. I thought it was. I was just thinking about the snowing look, or the sewing look, snowing. It, that gold look was beautiful. It was yes. done so well. But yeah. I just thought that other it, one was simple, and you got to bring that from home. Yeah. Right. It no? was legging. Yeah, it was just like a yeah. yeah. I mean, it it could have been camped up a little more, I think. Can I just say, Trinity really knows how to play this game. She, yeah. She really knows what so she's good. really doing up even, there, right? Even with the sewing challenge, she still gave an element of Trinity to it. And it was that surprise at the end. Like, they're always looking for something. We know that. And so it, I think that's why she was in the top two was because she had the cutouts on her ass and the hair covered it. And it was like a re another an extra reveal moment for the judges to have well, a goo-goo gag. -goo we've -goo. seen the asshole reveal many times. Yes. On yes. Thank you, Detox. Thank you. <laughs> Chicago <laughs> Queen Detox. But I mean, that gown was gorgeous. Scorch. I live. Yeah. I love the way she styled it too. With the, yeah, it was great. I think they both deserve to be in the top two tonight. Yeah, yeah I think the top I, two I, was I incredible. I, I think the top two was really good. I really, I think, I think so. It, 
Shay was the the next one for me. I mean, it would have been Shay. I mean, honestly, all of them really slayed it. Like even like Mon. I'm not joking oh though. I'm not God, even here joking. Here we go. No, no, no. That, no, because even I like agree. Monet and <laughs> I agree. Monet and Jeans don't be so, but I wouldn't hate either of those outfits. Like they, everyone kind of killed it for their level of sewing abilities. And I'm not even being nice. That's just the tea. I'm sorry. I oh, think God. with Shay, she had two. I can't win that around were too here. Too close <laughs> to each other. The one she made and then the Vienna White were a, a little similar. So I think maybe that's what had set her apart. But let's find out. Let's watch Untucked and see what's going on. Before we before yes. we go into let's watch uh, Untucked. Untucked, I want to remind you guys there is a merch table back there. Ooh. So go visit those two handsome guys back there and get yourself some merch. Straight to the back, right over there, we have uh, Mark and... And Jordan. Jordan. And Jake. Mark and Jordan. Mark and John. Love them. Jordan. Yeah, get your merch so get now. get yourself some merch. And yeah, let's get into uh, this. They you know? always get us together and untuck. Someone is always crying. Always. Did I miss someone crying? Yeah, yes. Evie. Evie Boo-hoo-hoo. Oh. Let's do Q&A. Yes. No, I don't what even know so what happened. So many questions. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Now she that... really said boo hoo <laughs> It's time for Q&A, so let's do some Q&A, yes? Are y'all ready for that, yes? Right, I'm gonna start right here, let's go. Hi, Roscoe's. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh well, this, give question, give up, give this up, question's our, for the audience. Our new MC, bitch, yes, we have been replaced, Mary. What is your name and question? Hi, my name is Angel Boy, and got Mick, I'm obsessed with you. Oh, I just needed to say that it. really quick. Hi. But, my question might be a little controversial. Is that okay? Yes. I'm gonna have to just. Sit. I gotta. Yeah. I gotta hear it first. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't that kind of party. Uh, it's not. It's not bad. It's yeah. Yeah. I thought it was gonna. So I think it's time for RuPaul to retire personally. That's in my opinion. And. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in my defense, what he never hell? started with that. <laughs> I, I was like, swear he did not. I was like, Nisha, you're going to let this I was about to say, this? I was like, Nisha, <laughs> can we get another drink? I'm not even done in with this, I'll chug it. In my defense, uh, Angel Boy over here did not start that way. You little shit. <laughs> Wait, can you do me too, Context please, baby? Is important, honey. So, my question is. I think four winners should host Drag Race. And if you were to pick four winners, who would they be? And why? Winners? Wieners. Fuck. <laughs> Wieners. Four mm. winners that should host Drag Race. <laughs> well, okay, while well, you Take guys- Take it away, get... Chach. <laughs> no, it's for you. He asked oh, you. Me they asked you. Okay, 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 okay. Pivot it, pivot. Um, I would definitely start with a Bianca Del Rio. I want to watch her critique everyone at all times. I just love that bitch. I think I would also do Bob the Drag Queen. Ugh. There's so many. I know. I'm, I'm In my head, I'm literally thinking of like a Jinx or Simone. Because it's like I want someone like a little nice too. <laughs> so yeah, I think. Bob is nice. Girl, she would still go off. Bob's nice. Bianca Bob's and hilarious. Bob together, it would be like, and then we have a Jinx being like, oh, I like it. I like it'd be cute. That's what we're missing. <laughs> also, Bob, I swear to you, no one loves the show more than Bob does. True. Like Bob loves the show so much. I feel like his critique and everything would be like so yeah. like legit. Because he, he fucking loves it. Um, but yeah, he's awesome. We have some more. Do you have one over there? I do. do I have one okay, right here. Okay, go for it. Hi, I'm Stefan. I love your shirt. That's like my favorite shirt. Yeah, it's an awesome yes. one. Yes, thank you. Um, so let's imagine you're on this season, it's episode one, but the old All-Stars rules applies. Who are you sending home? Work. But do um, well, it's hard because I didn't watch episode one. <laughs> <laughs> I ha this is the first episode I've watched. We just saw the outfits. Yes. Um, yeah. So. So what are the rules? <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> Who are we sending home? Old Was rules. Just put some, put two people in the bottom and then send somebody home. Lipstick. Well, it was like the I first two the episodes. First were episode. Episode. Well, I actually watched like all the clips. I watched the full Snatch Game, so I guess I did see it. But everyone fucking. But was Snatch it. Game first episode? No, or it was second? the second. It was the second. What happened first episode? Well, it was the same day. 
Oh uh, yeah, the song. It's it a hard a song. question. We have no idea what happened. They so did a, <laughs> we've been really Next busy question. working and taking care of uh, press relations. <laughs> um, yeah, it was the song, right? That's what they did. The song. Yep, they each had and a verse. So yes, who had yes. the worst songs? They were all kind of bad, except for Monet. Okay, so we put all of them in the bottom. Monet, Monet was the best one, only because you could understand every word she said. Everybody else, you couldn't hear anything. So Monet is safe, and everybody else, go, go Amazing, home. Amazing, yes. We I have another if, question. If I was on this season, though, I would definitely, like, oh, no yes. one would ever win. Like, literally, they'd be, like, giving me the plunger. I'd be like, why'd you block me? And then they wouldn't give me the plunger. I'd be like, why didn't you block me? <laughs> like, they're 100%. I'd, like, every week, I'd be like, Wow. I didn't kill it to you. Amazing. We have a question over here. Hi, useless lilac object and got milk alternatives. Pleasure to see you. I'm Hello. Kyle. <laughs> um, my question is, who had the best and worst booths at DragCon? Oh. Ooh. I was not at DragCon. Yeah. Uh, you were, though. I was. So I was who had the best and worst booths? Gia Gun. Huh. <laughs> I mean, Samo the Samoma was major. It was fucking game over. Yes. Um, Nicole Page Brooks was selling blankets of herself oh. that were so good. I want one of I those know. blankets. And by the time I went to buy it, it was all sold out, so I wanted to die. So I think those two are my tops. I really thought you were going to buy me one of those Nicole Page Brooks I wanted blankets. to. I tried, babe. I really did. I want that as a bedspread. I know. Girl, it was so good. They were like, Who here knows who blankets. Nicole Page Brooks is? Make some noise. Oh, yeah. She was fucking selling, like, fleece blankets of her, like, <laughs> at a gas station, like, uh, like naked. I was living, bitch. But I they were sold that. out. I, I need know. that. I know. So if you bought one, I'm, I'll buy it from you. Worst booths, though. Probably yours, huh? I would vote me, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep, everyone was amazing very, besides Very, very bad booth I had. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Everybody was incredible besides you. I mean, my very long line said differently, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Serena Cha Cha wigs, somebody said. Girl, I saw wow. I saw a clip on TikTok of those wigs. Girl, everyone that bought the wigs are like, what wigs? <laughs> 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 I heard there was a line of people picking up wigs she owned. Yeah, and just looking and setting them back down. You're lying. You're lying. I'm dying. Okay, wait, we have a question over here. <laughs> Petting her? Oh, sorry. Oh, hello. I love you guys both. Um, this is for my friend Alej This is a question for my friend Alejandro. We can't be here tonight because he got COVID. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. Oh. Um, but if That's still a thing. Can I have a negative test from you? <laughs> I'm just yeah, fucking. Yeah, literally. My yeah, did you, with her. Where's your mask? Um, if what would be your dream runway theme that like as soon as you hear RuPaul tell you what it is you're like oh yeah I got this probably like jungle bridal or one of the amazing red white and blue bridal red, red white and jungle. blue bridal <laughs> probably like uh, jungle no. uh, red white and blue brides uh, Violet is like RuPaul's like category is corsetry <laughs> no literally just do your drag how about that? Like, I'd love to see oh artists do God, what they do in real life. I feel like a lot of times drag, drag you guys race turned Violet like, Chachki into Miss America because of last week with Fashion Over. No, well, I, I cannot. I mean, look, there's been some really bad runway themes. I'll just say that. <laughs> um, and I think I love to see Queen shine at what they do. So Jinx may not be a fabulous runway person, but she's fucking hilarious everywhere else. So I want to see Queens do what they do. And I think... Sometimes the challenges and the themes limit these, these queens who are incredible artists. And the whole point about drag is expressing yourself. So when a queen gets to do that, like that's why I think a talent show is incredible because you get to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. And that's what I want to see. I want to see yeah. queens do what the fuck they want to do. Yeah. Yes. And I think for like runway themes, my favorite theme is something that's so vague, like the pleather runway. It's so good because you can literally, if you've always wanted to dress up as motherfucking Dorothy or the Tin Man or like, like Beyonce, girl, make it out of pleather and yeah. do whatever you want. I think like keeping it broad is good. The vague, weird ones because yeah. you can do literally anything and you just have to use a specific fabric or something like that. Because then That's everyone cool. can turn their drag yeah. into that interpretation. You get to see who they are. There's yes. a, we've seen all the runways for this episode, this season, and um, there's one runway coming up that is so 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 specific 
and it's like you can't even see who these queens oh, are. Yeah, oh, there's yeah. one that's just great. Like you'll know which and one we're, we're like, talking about. Yeah, we love that. It. It looks. And yeah. it's like okay, we you can't even it. we can't even critique these girls on this runway because what they've given them is so specific and so produced that they can't even shine as individuals, and you it, it gets so diluted yeah. and, and watered down that. The queens don't shine as themselves. The vaguer, so the better. The vaguer, the better for sure. So yeah. pleather is a great one. Yeah, like I could be a, a color pleather. is a great one. Yes. Anything too specific just gets colors really are good. Yeah, they silly because it's like okay, sure, they checked, they did the challenge, they did yeah, the theme. Like, I good guess. Good job. Like, we're gonna do one more question, then we're gonna go right back to Untucked. Hi, Violet. Hi, Got Mick. Hello. My name's Tians. I'm from a country called South Africa. I've been in 41 of the 52 African countries. In 14 of them, it is still illegal to be gay, where it is punishable with prison time or death. When are you girls coming to Africa to do the real work? To change the scene to leave a better legacy. I love you. What a great question. That's, that, listen, that's, that's a great wow. question. I have to check, my, great, I have to check my Delta app, but uh, I now, think hold on. I <laughs> could go tomorrow. Um, no, you're in California no, tomorrow. No. <laughs> you're booked tomorrow, you're booked girl. Tomorrow. You're booked, oh, you're booked shit. tomorrow. Um, I, would you're, love you're, to, I would love to come to Africa, South Africa. Literally I, tell me where to stand, mama. I'm there. <laughs> I would honestly love to. I really would. If you, I have a booking email. I would come. It's I would actually love currently to down, but it will be back up soon. <laughs> some management issues. Um, no, I, I've actually was talking to a guy in South Africa for a while, and I would really love to come. And um, COVID fucked everything up. I'm going to be... Obviously. I've actually been to Johannesburg. I met a gorgeous jewelry designer, some of my best friends there. The dick was lit in South Africa. <laughs> so I'm definitely down to go, and I definitely obviously want to come and uh, turn it there. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, I've gone to a lot of places where the politics are not um, in line with my personal beliefs. Uh, but as we know, my personal beliefs are incredible. incredible. Yeah! Are incredible. Yeah. Um, I was actually the first drag queen to go to India before, before they decriminalized uh, gay sex. And it was really cool to get to sort of be a part of that conversation. I did a lot of press around that. And I would love to do something similar. Not that I'm like some sort of activist or some sort of catalyst for change but I mean that's what I drag is all about to, so to take up space in those spaces absolutely drag is it's political all, drag queens are always at the forefront of every political thing so just being there is fucking political yeah, so just showing yes. up being queer being outspoken wherever it may be whether it's India South Africa the Met Gala whatever it may be I think that's how I try to go into spaces and think about how I can take up as much space as a queer person as possible um, so I would love to do that in South Africa and Africa as a whole. So and we appreciate we you. We will come whenever the up. email comes. We, through. <laughs> yeah. Also, is this a booking <laughs> offer? <laughs> yeah, bring us, please. I would. We will do press out the ass. Yes. And make it a big to do. Yes. Uh, but yes, we appreciate you bringing that up. It would be a little bit selfish to go ahead and put something as big as a topic that we're talking about on the shoulders of two drag queens because that's not how it works. However, I do want to express to you, like they said, we are doing drag and we are allowing people to embrace who they are every day and all day. And we need to show the rest of the world that before we could get there. But I promise that this and what we do is one step closer to getting yes. that done. And I promise we'll, we'll get there. We will Visibility. get there. Visibility. It absolutely. will happen. I mean, absolutely. I feel like it's inevitable, right? I mean, absolutely. even with the don't say gay stuff, it's like yes. there's nothing you can do to stop us. We're already here. Like, it's happening. Be These loud, pathetic be attempts proud. that silencing us globally are, are pathetic. And I think um, just existing politically, that's sort of my, my take on it, taking up space as a queer person. And that's what Pride has always been about, protest. And that's really what our tour... It's supposed to be about is celebrating pride, going to spaces, taking up space, and it will. There's yeah. nothing you can do to stop us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's on that note. Let's go back to untucked, and then we'll have some more uh, Q and A from you, lovely people. No one goes home. Is that what you're gonna say? Um, 
Actually, I think that's like the best thing they decided with this season was that nobody yeah. goes home. Um, you can't send winners home. That's Everyone late. Goes home. I don't think anybody would have done yeah, it. Yeah, they would have not have <laughs> done it. I'm not going home. You know what I mean? They would not have done it. We have a question over here that I'm going to try to get to really Anybody quick. Anybody else have any questions? You have a question. Come on down, You're sir. So Come on down. Nice. I'll wait. She'll go first. Oh, my God. Hi. I'm Joshua. Hi. Uh, I love your shirt. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yes. Um, it's of a small town drag queen. Oh, support <laughs> local queens, yeah. bitch. <laughs> it's a local Chicago queen. Her name's yeah. Gami. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got me, Trixie myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so my question's for Gami. Um, you guys are both like fashion icons, obviously. But I am a stand-up comedian, and so I'm very inspired by Gami specifically. Uh, you killed like every like comedy challenge in your season. Thank You're you. fucking, yeah, of course. Dang. You're stand-up. <laughs> And your, uh, what is that, Snatch Game? You fucking yes, killed. Yes. And so I want to know like, what your inspiration was for like, your uh, comedy in general. Like, if there's any like, um, stand-up that you're like, ooh, like, I like, love you, and like, I'm going to portray like, your type of energy. Or if there's anyone like, in your life where like, they make you laugh, and you just want to like, you know, give off their energy, because like, you really kill like, in every comedy oh my God, challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, like I was saying earlier, I went into, like, the first interview moment that we had in confessionals, they were like, what challenges don't you want to do? I was like, I do not want to roast, bitch. Absolutely fucking not. I'm so scared. And then it turned out to be, like, my favorite thing in the world. And actually, Violet and I were just talking about how I kind of want to start doing a little bit of a stand-up moment in the future. I know. I think it's so fun. Like, I love just being able to talk to you guys and just, like, talk about my life and make it funny and shady and weird. So I think I found that throughout the season. I actually, weirdly, my dad forced me to watch, like, comedy roast growing up. So it was weirdly, like, I had a background in that already. And I, like, love watching just, like, comedy at all times, like, no matter what it is. And then I'm also surrounded by, like, the shadiest, funniest people in the world. Like, backstage at these drag shows, bitch, you don't even fucking know. You think we're mean? Come backstage, mama. Like, these drag queens are so shady and funny. So I luckily have been in the drag world for a long time. And I've been able to pick up on some very amazing, shady, cunty cues. And yeah, it just really affected who I am. And I, it's shade, mama. <laughs> That's where it comes from. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, girl, if back in the day, those roast tours, if that was back around, I would pay to be on those. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I want, a roast tour. <laughs> I have a question for you two here. Hi, uh, my name is Jake, and I have a Hi. question for Got Mick. Yes. So earlier you had mentioned that when you got on your season that you felt really obligated, especially to be a representation for the trans community, and that you finally kind of got into your groove about being like yourself and having fun. And let me just tell you, first off, that being yourself and having fun is the best possible representation that yes. you can be for the trans community. They hate to see us having a really good fucking time, and it's amazing. Um, so my question is, how... Um, has the drag community helped you feel supported as a trans person, specifically a trans masculine person doing feminine drag? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I did not transition for literally so long because I didn't see anyone in the media like me. Every trans guy that I saw was just like this hyper-masculine Ken doll thing. And I was like, well, I'm a little feminine and I like playing with that. And I'm definitely gay as fuck. So it's just like, that is not me. So I definitely suppressed it for so long. And so when I got on Drag Race and I figured out who I was, I was like, okay, well, I have to be that representation. I have to do that. Well, I didn't have, like, I have to be that perfect role model. And me overthinking things is not the vibe I've learned. So I definitely learned that the second that I just let go and told my personal stories and told my like my own personal journey like that's what people are going to connect to and that also goes hand in hand when people always ask like what advice do you give to like new drag queens or oh, I want to like stand out in the drag community it's like you have to be yourself 100% of the time because no one connects to the drag tutorial that you saw on fucking YouTube like they connect because your artistry is your artistry period point blank period and no one else does that and you're brought on this earth to do your art so you have to do that and that is what people are going to connect with you know yeah and there's so many fucking queer stories out there that have not been told and thank god we have amazing platforms like drag race that are allowing people like me to tell them and i'm so excited for the future to keep breaking down those boundaries i don't even know what your fucking question was at this point but yeah. but yeah just fucking be yourself and love that killing it 
trans. Work. <laughs> <laughs> I love. We got another question for you, ladies, over here. Hi, I'm Alfonso. So this Hello. question is for both of you, Violet and God. God, I'm, I'm over here. Hi. Um, <laughs> for both of you. So, in your recent travels, what are some of your favorite experiences, favorite things you've done? Nothing travels. they can share, obviously. <laughs> As you yeah. saw Violet's face. Um, <laughs> I told Please you. Tell it. Please it's tell it. It's hard for Violet to find fun things. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think weirdly, like getting off of Drag Race, I was traveling a lot, and like Violet was saying earlier, it's so weirdly lonely and like uh, weird. I don't even know how to describe it. So I definitely got in this weird depressed phase of my life, and then I met Violet, and she had to deal with my depression, and it was just imagine Violet Chosky pulling you out of depression. It's just like <laughs> it's like fucking crazy. So, but she did, and um, I've just learned that. Like I was saying, it's like, it has to be centered around your art. And there's so many people that want to like profit off of drag and profit off of queer stories. And you just kind of have to like make sure, do mental check-ins with yourself and make sure that you're producing your art and putting it out there and you're here for a reason. And I think that is like the best thing that's come out of this whole thing for me traveling is that I've gone through a whole like mental roller coaster of life and where I'm standing here right now is just absolutely like crazy the journey I've gone through in that short amount of time and who I am right now standing before you I would not have thought could have turned that quickly so I'm very proud of it yeah I mean traveling around touring it's not easy I think I was traveling for 16 hours to get here? Yeah, bitch, from Today. LA to Chicago. <laughs> um, which, it's not easy. I think really the only really truly rewarding part of the job is doing the art on stage like you're about to see at 10.30. Um, and, yeah. and that really is it. I mean, half the job is getting to the gig and it, it's not easy with just all of the things that can happen along the way. And yeah, I mean, the most rewarding part for me is at that five minutes I'm on stage singing, lip syncing to someone else's song. I mean, it's good. It's, I hope people can use it as a form of escape. I think drag has always been escapism for me. Right now we're living in fucking insane times and I think people need escape more than anything right now. And that's what drag has always served for me. It's always been a form of therapy for me. And I hope lots of people will get when they see us perform. And that's honestly the only rewarding part of it. Yeah. Is like... Escapism. Right. Escapism. Speaking of, let's go ahead and wrap this... Uh, <laughs> Untucked. This Untucked. Up. So let's wrap that up. And then we'll do a couple more questions. And then we'll call it a night so we can go ahead and get to our performances. So DJ Mikey, let's All go. right. That was Untucked. Give it up for Untucked. Yes. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I want to remind you guys that next week we have Miss Adore Delano. My wife. <laughs> and the winner of Queen of the Universe, Grad Queen, is coming to visit us. Yes, yes, yes. I think I think it might be sold out by now, or there Correct. might be like four or five tickets left. Maybe. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. And okay. also for those of you um, that phones. don't know, we are now selling our There's tickets. Like four or five tickets left, yes. We're selling our tickets on Thursday night the week prior at 9 p.m. So set your alarms if you want to sit in the front like these hosts do every motherfucking week. Every single week. They're no joke. Every week. Every week. I live. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Do we have any questions, by the there way? There is anymore? one more over here. That, uh, I was going to start with him this. Oh, she's you right come at over here. Show, You bitch. come over here. I'm going to make him come over here. You made me exercise for that? I don't like that. This question is for Miss Chachki herself. Hi, how are you? Hi. What would it take for me to receive a free ticket to your A Lot More Me show in Vancouver? Literally, how many followers do you have? Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Some free promo would help. Uh. You're literally welcome to come, babe. I think the tickets are twenty dollars. So. <laughs> She'll send you the link. Yeah. I think I'll eat the twenty dollars. You are so welcome to come. Somebody as gorgeous as you. Oh. I'd be honored. Oh. oh. I would be honored to have you in my audience. Oh. You do that. Sure. DM me. I'm sure you can hold her to a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> 
She changed her mind. She changed her mind. No, yeah, please come. Okay. All over me. What's oh. your name? This is Michael. How do you spell Hi. that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we know how it's spelled. It's okay. <laughs> is he not giving, like, Shay vibes? Like, real chill, kind of? like, yeah. you stoned or what? Yeah, yeah you're yeah. high as fuck, bitch. Work, I know. I live. Give it up for Michael. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Michael, I will see you in Vancouver, was it? Two it's months. actually not two months. It's more like a month and a half, but... Very you'll big see, difference. You'll see Violet difference. in an hour. Oh, I love stage. this energy between you. Uh oh, get I your live. questions in now. Honestly, ladies. at this point, just rail me in the bathroom. I need an es- I, That's the real escape. I wasn't going to say it. I knew the answer the whole time. <laughs> Kavik said that was the answer the whole time. I knew, baby. Treat her like a woman and you're in. <laughs> if anybody knows, it's Gottmik because they have been on tour together. So they yeah, know. The we went out last night. It was slim pickings around here. So. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, my grinder's giving. I don't know what Whoa. you're doing. Violet's picky. Uh, no. Trust me, no. <laughs> I, I think everything's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do, okay, we're gonna. What, what do we have time for? One more question. We're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, we'll wrap it Just, up. I'm sorry. We're gonna wrap it up, puppy. So sorry. Oh. Next. Oh. oh, so sorry. What's your name? Nico. Give it up for Nico. Nico, we'll get you next time, I promise. I mean, you could have asked it right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, did you have a good time tonight? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for the very lovely and gorgeous Miss Violet Chachki. <laughs> and then make some noise for the ever Thank so you. beautiful Got Me. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget we will be performing at 10.30, so don't go anywhere. Just get yourself some cocktails and hang out. My name is Nisha Lopez. And I'm Batty Davis. Have a good night. Bye, you two. We love you guys. Thank you.